Greetings, fellow crafters. Uh, it is July the 15th, 14th, 14th. It is Tuesday. Let me double check that. 14th, yes. It is the 14th. It is a Tuesday, July 2020, and I have some long awaited wish mail. I've already opened this one because it was in with a package for something completely different. I didn't think it was big enough to be diamond painting or craft related, but it is. Um, so let's get into this and see what these are. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to bring you in and go into the one that I've already opened because it's a small one. Bring in a little more. Okay, so this one is a set of Christmas ornaments that I picked up that are done in painting. Little red and white guys. And I know, I know in the Halloween community there's a very large uh, sector of, ew, Christmas. I am not part of that. I do enjoy Christmas. Christmas I find wears on me a lot faster than Halloween does. I am always excited to see Halloween stuff, but sometimes of the year I'm like, is it really Christmas? Do we have to do Christmas now? But the idea of these was something that I really liked, and that's because I love my Christmas tree. To me, Christmas is all about the lights. And the idea of having shiny Christmas ornaments that catch and reflect the lights seemed like it was pretty awesome. Let's get these out of here. I will put in the description how much I paid for these and how much they were for shipping because, you know, Wish makes most of its money off of shipping. So they've sent me a bunch of cord to make um, loops with to hang these on the tree. These are fairly flimsy. They're just, they're kind of like thick cardstock. But I've got a snowman a snowflake, a star, a Christmas tree, a different snowflake, an angel, a heart, a bell, a little, probably could be a gingerbread house, and a Christmas, and a ornament shaped Christmas ornament. A little meta there. But they're all red and white here, and I think that we've got some special drills. Comes with a bog standard kit. There's a couple of baggies there. I'll probably fish those out later. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten Christmas ornaments. Ten Christmas ornaments. They're just cardstock. There's nothing on the other side of them. Let's take a look and see how sticky they are. Uh -huh. They've got some sincere stick to them. And the drill field is really clear. It's all like alphanumeric stuff. And I see that. Yeah. So you can see the ones in there. We've got twos around the border. And these three are teardrops. So I'm thinking there's some special drills in here. So they're fairly clear. Little, I would say... Hang on. Oh, no, I did bring it in with me. Yay! I remembered. I finally found my good tape measure. So these are roughly about three inches tall, so seven and a half centimeters. And at the widest point, this one is two and a half cent inches or six and a half centimeters. So they're all not too big, but they're Christmas ornaments. They shouldn't be too big. And with them being cardstock, they're going to be really light. And but here are the drills. I don't see bees. Those look like ABs. AB, if you are new to this craft or wondering what that might mean, uh, is Aurora Borealis. It's a very common question because AB means nothing to most people, 
but Aurora Borealis means that instead of just having the top of it be shiny and faceted so that it catches the light, these are actually also coated with sort of a holographic coating that shines with, it shines sort of a rainbow color. It helps bring a little, little extra sparkle to it. So they're great for accents. So these are all white and they're all AB. So that's lovely. Mind you, there's a lot of non-social distancing going on. You can tell because the only other color is red. <laughs> and it's got a few stragglers in there. But then we've got these guys, little holographic faceted teardrops. They're gonna go on them too. So really, there's really only three colors here. Yeah, one, two, and three. So this is a brain dead first project for a very, could even be a first project for very young kids. Now, these will not be done anytime soon. I cannot hack Christmas in, J in July. It's just not gonna happen. But as I said, I love the idea of something beautiful and shiny catching and reflecting the light in amongst the Christmas lights and thought this would be a good um, boredom buster on a blustery cold day in December for my kids. That would be a beautiful little project in the end. So that is that. That's going to go away for a while, but it's good to have that because with COVID dying down in some areas and resurging in others and everybody talking about um, uh, second waves and stuff like that, it's good to have it on hand so that I'm not waiting for it and getting them in January after the season. So I have a Christmas painting that's sort of on the back burner too. And this is, oh, I'm going to have to put my address hider back in here. I'm going to back you out of it. So you can see me unbox this one. I do have a bunch, I believe this is one of my Wish paintings. Those came from Wish. Um, because the rest of mine don't appear to have, have only just recently gone for customs. So I believe they are still a few days out. According to the tracking, they just hit the West Coast Customs, so they probably came ship. Wait. Oh! Oh! Really? Okay. This is not Wish. This is not a diamond painting. These are stretcher bars. I ordered 40 by 40 stretcher bars for snow a 40 by 40 frame for snow sisters. And then decided I didn't want to wait that long. So this came from AliExpress. I will put the store and the uh, price that I paid for this in on the screen and in the description. I ordered this not that long ago, and it's here already. I'm kind of surprised and shocked and stuff. And this is going to take a little bit of finagling, but yeah, it's a it's probably some force and mallets and stuff, but it's a 40 by 40 frame. So I was going to put Snow Sisters in that one that I got, and I may decide to do this one instead because I think it is straight 40 by 40. Let's see. Uh, might be a little bit under, although it's hard to say. It's pretty close. And they're all the same length. This may work out better, except, hmm. maybe I'll save this for the kitten. One thing I didn't, I didn't mention, and I will put in the description of that video when I put it up, is the one that I got from Cool, cool Cats and Kittens, the Rainbow Kitty. Um, it was advertised and sold to me as a 30 by 30, 30 by 40, and it's not. It's a 40 by 40. So I did get a larger painting than I had initially dealt, thought about. 
So I'm going to try and save that canvas and I will save this frame for that, I think. Because, and I think what's gonna end up happening is I will use these as stretcher bars because there really isn't a way to get frame in there. You can put this together. Now, well, I suppose it's got something of a rabbit. Then you'd have to find a way of gluing it in. I don't know. Well, this is another option. I will revisit this when I have something that I'm going to frame it with. I think I'm still gonna do Snow Sisters in the other frame that I picked up at Michael's. But yeah, I will put up here when I ordered this and Today is the 14th of July. I'm pretty sure this is like two weeks, maybe three. I did not order this all that long ago. So I'm actually quite impressed that it came this quickly. Okay, so that was a whole bunch of surprises. I didn't think I had, I thought I had a painting and something completely inconsequential and instead I have a frame and my Christmas ornaments. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Thank you so much to my new subscribers who, and those who've been with me for a little bit. I'm glad to see everybody here. Love hearing your comments. Um, if you have not joined our family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit the bell icon to be uh, alerted when I do actually have a video ready, which can be kind of random. And thank you again for coming. See you later. Bye.